Many ancient mythologies and the most modern religions include artificial people, such as a mechanical servant built by the Greek gods Havestus, the clay golems of Jewish legends, and the clay giants of North legend, and the, Ga and the Galatee, the mythical statue of Pygmalion that came to life. Since circa in circa 400 BC, myths of Creta included Talos, include Talos, a man of bronze who guarded the island of pirates. So yeah, robots been kind of chilling here for quite some time, or at least like in fictional stories and stuff like that. Let's see, Greek times in the 11th century. Oh boy, Luca Panati tells of how the Buddha's the Buddha's relics were protected by mechanical robots. What? The story is set in the time of kings. Ajatasutru, Satru, and Ahsoka. Atas, mm, Aja, I'm gonna just say, I'm just gonna say Aja, just so I'm not butchering it. Who reigned from 492 to 460 BC, was recognized for commissioning new military inventions, such as powerful catapults and a mechanized war chariot with whirling blades when buddha died aja was entrusted with defending his precious remains the king hid them in an underground chamber near his capital pataloputa now not patna ah. traditionally statues of giant warriors stood on guard near treasures but in the legend aja's Guards were extraordinary. They were robots. In India, automatons or mechanical beings that could move on their own were called Puta Vanhan Vahana Yanta or spirit movement machines. In Pali and San uh, Sanskrit, according to the story, it was foretold that Aja's robots would remain on duty until a future king would dis dispute, distribute Buddha's relic relics throughout the realm. Hindu and Buddha texts describe the automaton warriors whirling like the wind, slashing intruders with the sword, calling Aja's warrior chariot with spinning blades. In some versions, the robots are driven by a water wheel or made of Visvakaraman, the Hindu engineer god. But the most striking version came by a tangled route to the Lokapanati, Lokapanati of Burma, Pali translation of older lost Sanskrit texts only known from Chinese translation, each drawing on earlier oral trends tradition. Wow. In this tale, many Gantakara robot makers lived in the Western land of the Yavanas, Greek speakers in Rome, Roma Visaya, Visaya, Indian name from the Greco-Roman culture of the Mediterranean world. The Yavanas, the secret technology of robots, was closely guarded. The robots of Roma Visaya carried out trade and farming and captured and executed criminals. Robot makers were forbidden to leave or reveal their secrets. If they did, Robotic assassins pursued and killed them. Rumors of the fabulous robots reached India, inspiring a young artisan of Pataliputta in Aja's capital, Aja's capital, who wished to learn how to make automatons. Mm. In the legend, 
The young man of no, but Talaputa finds himself reincarnated in the heart of Roma Vas Vasaya. He married the daughters of the master robot maker and learns his craft. One day he steals the plans for making robots and hatches a plot to get them back to India. Search into being slain by killer robots before he could make the trip himself, he slits open his thigh and search the drawing under his skin and sews himself back up. Oh my gosh. How tiny were the plans? How big was his thigh? Oh boy. Oh my. Then he tells his son to make sure his body makes it back to Pataliputta and starts the journey. He's caught and killed. But his son recovers his body and brings it to Pataliputta. Once back in India, the son retrieves the plans from his father's body and follows their instructions to build the automated soldiers for King Aja to protect Buddha's relic in the underground chamber. Well hidden and expertly guarded, the relic and robots fell into obscurity. Yo, this is fucking awesome. Two centuries after Aja, after Aja, Ahsoka ruled the power of Muren Empire in Pataliputta. 273 and 232. Good times, good times. Ahsoka constructed many stupas to enshrine Buddha's relics across his vast kingdom. According to the legend, Ahsoka had heard the legend of the hidden relics and searched under his discovered what well, and searched until he discovered the underground chamber guarded by the fierce android warriors that is where the avatar <laughs> i couldn't say it <laughs> oh boy violent battle raged between ahsoka and the robots in one version the god this helped ahsoka to defeat them by shooting arrows into the bolts and held the spinning constructs together. In another tale, the old engineer's son explained how to disable and control the robots. At any rate, Ahsoka ended up commanding the army of automatons himself. East meets West. Is this legend simply fantasy? Or could the tale have coalesced around early culture exchanges between east and west the story clearly connects the mechanical beings defending buddha's relics to automate automatons of roma visaya the greek influenced west how ancient is the tale most scholars assume it arose in medieval islamic and european times but I think the story is much older. The historical setting points to technological exchange between Mirian and Hellis Hellenistic cultures. Contact between India and Greeks began in the 5th century BC, a time when Aja engineers created novel war machines. greco buddhist culture exchange intensified after Alexander's Great's campaign in the Northeast, Northern India. In 300 BC, two Greek ambassadors, Magathinus uh, and, Dam and Diamachus, resided in Pataliputta, which boasted Greek influence art and, ar and, ar and architecture, and was the home of the legendary artisan who obtained plans for the robots in Roma Visaya. Grand pillars erected by Ahsoka and inscribed in ancient Greek and name Hellenistic kings, demonstrating Ahsoka's relationship with the West. Historians know that Ahsoka corresponded with Hellenistic rulers, including Ptolemy II Philadelphus in Alexandria, who spectacularly processed in 2000 procession. 
Famously displayed complex animated statues and automated devices. Hmm. Historians report that Ahsoka sent envoys to Alexandria and Ptolemy II sent ambassadors to Ahsoka and Pataliputra. It was customary for diplomats to present splendid gifts to show off cultural achievements. Did they bring plans or miniature models, automatons, and other mechanical devices? I cannot hope to pinpoint the origin the original date of the legend, but it is plausible that the idea of robots guarding Buddha's relics melds both real and imagined engineering feats from the time of Aja and Ahsoka. This striking legend is proof that the concept of building automatons were widespread and in antiquity and reveals the universal, the universal and timeless link between imagination and science. And science and science and science. Woo! Damn. Man. See what happens? You just dive a little bit of deeper into this stuff and then you just learn brand new shit all around the place. I mean, can I get, yeah. Okay. Blast this bitch! His name is Professor Volpeet. <laughs> Professor... Pro, 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 <laughs> Professor Vol